Okay, hello, what's up everybody, Crafty Cody here, welcome to another game development video. So today, we'll be creating a particle system from scratch and we'll be implementing them in the game. We'll be, as you can see, we'll be building something that looks like this and you're gonna, boom. And you're gonna do, boom. And it will be like starting and you can adjust those values. So now what you need to do is go to the particles to the node right here and firstly you need to make sure the player you will add another node that particle with a particle study. Then we'll go to go over here and there's things that you need to know. So you have the inspector view. Inspector make sure the amount is the higher, higher than 50. It will make your particle much more cooler. Lifetime to 0.5 and the one shot the one lifetime doesn't really matter you can change it to 0.2 or the lifetime of the particle will we have the speed scale of the how much it is like it will make it like faster let's take a look at this i didn't see you 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 can make sure that there the part you can make sure the particles as you can see the particles and you can you can play around with the different uh, value types now uh, the thing I want to do is go to the drawing section and you will say ABB -A 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 and this is the value this is the uh, default values you don't need to worry about them the make sure main main thing you need to worry about is these two first you'll go to the texture view we'll click on here or we'll first let's see we'll click on this and click on load and the, you can find the fireball texture in the assets base pack items and you drag it down and you'll see firewall and as you can see we'll have ooh, here the dang it then we'll go to the process material we'll click on here we'll say new process material and then click on them i just saved that and that's the what what it shows now i will gently hover over them you should you can copy or you can look at it if you hit this and as you can see this is the preview of the particle and I, I don't want a preview right now so now go go down here and as you can see they are they're coming and you should pause the video I will like zoom in and pause the video and just copy up everything all right nice now if you copy or I don't recommend copying and pasting you can just use like uh, you can just uh, like play around with those values if you want so now uh, we have created a particle yay so now what you need to do is implement them how will you implement them we want a, a we want to now go to the section you want the particle of you say this one and there will be uh, for example this one and add the script spikes make sure i have already added the script called fights now uh there's some codes as it, as this is, is this is a area 2d node what you need to do is go to this area 2d we'll go to the node node and let's do a little bit and node over here is you can see body entered we'll click on here connect connect to those itself make sure it says itself so let's go to the script so we have our particles two things you need in the uh, in our uh, in our code two variables first is the particle system itself and the player because I need to know which position and things whatever so now we'll say extends area to D with the extends keyword this is same uh, this is like if you are from kinematic you can use kinematic or whatever so now we'll say var particle system equal null because we don't have a value but you can just leave it like that can you I think you can okay so you don't need to like it do it but I recommend doing it so we have particle system equal no we have player equals to no so so we have two variables now in the ready function we are getting the particle system we got the death particle particles to the this node so for example we'll go to get parent we'll get the parent which is the uh, I think we this will get the player um, yeah this will get the player and this get parent will get the world then we'll say get node 
and we'll go to the player play that particle particles 2d done it's simple and then we'll get the player body as a get pattern get pattern world to get node to the player body so it's simple right we'll go down and this is the main part of the code so we have added a uh, a signal to say that where is our body particle if you didn't uh, look at my signal tutorial make sure you do because this is important I think it's the enemy part one I think I have used that uh, maybe I'm not sure I think, I think improved co collision detection I think there or you can find that in enemy you can just check out my playlist and see where is it and if I am like kind enough or if I am like if I remember kind enough if I remember I will play I will have a link in the description or the I button over there maybe so uh, whatever I uh, just a time waste there so now go to the on body we need to go to particle system that position player that position uh, position that X plus three this is optional by the way you don't need to set the player position automatically it will set to the player position so what will happen when you are dead when we are dead we need to hide the player now you say why not destroy the player the reason here is if we destroy the player then uh, the particle systems will not work and they, they will be like the particle system itself will not run because uh, the dead particle is there so just you don't need to know the te technical aspect of this but you need to just know that you need to use the hide instead of the query function next we'll say particle system not show we need to show the particle system now what is this you may ask what is this this is new yes it is I just figured out like uh, like three days ago and it's pretty simple so yield means it's simply a, uh, making a timer we create a small timer of delay between this line so we have a time that will we will show the particle we need a lifetime of the show the particle we create a timer of particle system dot lifetime so we created a timer with particle system with lifetime so what we are doing is waiting for the particle system to stop the particle it means to show the particle and we are done showing the particle so when it's like it's time for you to rejoin we need to use this line of code we restart our scene recap we need to hide the player we need to show the particle because we need to hide the player first then to show the particle now, after the particle systems lifetime is over I mean we will create a timer over there so what it is with the yield function does it creates a timer I think yield has much more functionalities but uh, it just creates a timer for particle system dot lifetime so uh, lifetime it is the 0 0.5 0 0.6 whatever the value you put in and the timeout what is the timeout mean timeout means it will it will stop it it will stop when the particle system dot lifetime is over it will stop that uh, stop the uh, the timer then what it will do it will like, uh, reload the current scene hopefully you guys are understanding so we're done we'll go to there and we have this. Whew. okay that that was uh, like uh, I think how much is recorded can I see it no I think I can't okay um, it's nine minutes nine minutes okay so that's how you uh, make a particle so I'm gonna see you in the next video peace